It's the finals. We got three customizers and 10K. They got the Chuck 70 in five hours. There's nothing left to say except, let me see them bands, let me see them bands, let me see them bands. This is Paint Wars and the clock starts now. I'm shaking. We back at it like we never left with the fam. I got the king customizer himself, Serato. What up, bro? And the queen, Miss Chloe. Uh-oh, back again. And we saving one more secret seat for one more secret judge. You heard. All right, so let's talk about what we got today, the Chuck 70. And this basketball design is the original one from the 1970s. Yeah, I mean, the Chuck 70 brings in premium materials, like a thicker canvas, it's got dope details. I love how Converse continually upgrades this timeless shoe. I wanna make sure they utilize this as best as possible and nobody gets lazy over there. That 10K on the line, they better. I walk in, I see that one of the contestants is Caddy Custom. Miss Caddy Customs, okay. <laughs> We're back at it. Seeing Caddy Customs, she's an OG. She's been in the game for a long time. My mind was blown. The final round, yeah. how you feeling? I feel good. Okay. Nervous, but I'm good. Nervous? Yeah. What you mean nervous? Why are you nervous? This is what you do. It's normal, it's normal. Like, I'm nervous because, like, I know what her shoes are, and I know that she's major. It's like going up against one of your idols. I know you've been doing this for a long time. When was the first time you started customizing sneakers? Uh, 2007. My name is Caddy Customs, and we're in the finale. I'm definitely a sneaker customizer, OG, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. I definitely help putting custom sneakers on the map. There's not a lot of women who customize sneakers. So being that fact, it has showed other women that they could do it too. There's a lot of colorful pieces. Yeah, so yeah. So is that the direction that you're going with the sneakers today? Yeah, yeah, that's the direction I'm going. So in the first round, I basically made a shoe to look like pop art, comic book feel. The judges really loved it because it was different. I'm very impressed with the originality. It just brings a different vibe. It's the final round and going into it, I'm feeling really good. I focus, I'm ready. This is something that I really live for. It's not a hobby. So we'll catch up a little later. All right. I'll let your expertise do the talking. All right, cool. Whoa, what am I seeing already? You got chains? Got chains going on. Got chains going on? Chain gang. I'm taking a crazy risk with this sneaker. I mean, I never worked with chains before. I'm going to create the style of a basketball rim with the chains being the net. What's good, y'all? My name is Mariah Ruff. I'm from Detroit. Even though I haven't been in the game for a while, I'm super confident. I got this on round one, and I know I'm gonna take home the win. Did you bring your own fabrics too? I did. I actually brought all of this from home. As a woman against two guys, I mean, the competition was there, but I definitely feel like I overruled. I came up on top. Mariah! Don't play with Customize me. It. <laughs> Thanks, you got it. It. Individuality is very important to me because growing up, I tried to be like everybody else, and trying to be like everybody else kind of forced people to like bully me. I'm here to show women you can definitely do anything that you put your mind to. You feel like you're in a disadvantage because other contestants have been doing this for a little while now? I feel like my work shows itself. I feel like I work just as hard as everybody here. We're all here for a reason. What I'm going to do with the shoot today is basically give a tribute to Converse, letting everyone, you know, a little bit of history about it. Caddy's over there, and I'm seeing a lot of coverage already. And I remember from the first episode, right, she was the first one to get to it with the brush. So other customizers may use stencils or tape off the shoes, but I dive straight in using the paintbrush and paint. Once I got something in mind, I'm going for it, and I'm super confident. Now, it's a little striking to me, though, that you've got, you know, two people on the, on the left and the right kind of going for it already, you know, things are moving, you know, brushes are flying, and then you got one in the middle just typing away at her keyboard. I didn't know what I was gonna do at all. My name is Bree, I'm from Denver, Colorado, and round one, I beat the boys Don't worry, I got this, it's gonna be figured out. Well, today you're gonna need Jesus. You gonna need <laughs> Jesus. They were talking their but in the end, it didn't matter. I won. Bree! What the smoke? I'm a single parent. Every single thing I do is for my daughter. It can be tough being a single parent. $10,000 would mean a lot to me because it's all about my daughter, my family. I just want to be successful for her. And I'm sitting there thinking, 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 and then I'm like, duh. 
It's three black women finalists as customizers. Three women in the final? To see all women up here means everything. The customizer game is usually a male-dominated thing. I think it'll be super empowering for all girls watching this. Yeah, the turning point, for real. Now we finna show the world, like, we out here and then we can customize sneakers. Nobody's talking, it's not friendly, there's no back and forth. I think everybody knows they need to just get to it. I'm hand drawing a crown on here on all my shoes. I like to add the hand drawing aspect and with a crown I know I can really include the detail. Tape it up, cut it out to hopefully catch the judge's eye. All right, it looks like our girl Bree's starting to make some money moves. Yeah, I mean, she's got the stencil on the shoe, she's got the airbrush up. She's actually the only one airbrushing today. I know that I have a specific look, which is like the cotton candy look that I did in the last round. So I kind of wanted to get away from that a little bit and stick to maybe a certain color or a certain couple of colors. So I chose green and purple. Purple's royalty, green. I just like gave that extra pop. One by one, I try to make those hoops from using the pliers. I got to use both pliers each hand. I always have like cuts on my hands because I really put in the work. I'm super nervous, but I'm jumping into it. I know that I gotta make these five hours and I know I gotta put in my best work. I'm about to get to it. Three hours left. Hey, that's a quick hour. It does not feel like an hour. Larry over there is speeding up the clock. When drawing Massachusetts on both shoes, I get real detailed. I'm not in for errors or messing up, especially in the final round, so I'm making sure I do everything as perfect as possible. Caddy says a lot on the line, you know, we're all trying to make it to the finish line. I'm working too fast, but I really want to beat the clock today and I really want to be on my game. Ooh, what's going on there? I don't know, I think she, uh, I think she caught her finger. Yeah, I might need to get a band-aid because <laughs> I'm bleeding. I cut my hand. It hurt bad. Like, I'm not even gonna front. I'm not trying to be tough. But it hurts every time. Yeah, this happens. I'm just going too fast and, yeah. I'm super nervous, but I'm about to get to it. You back? You good? I'm back. You good I'm to good. go? Yeah. All right, no more injuries? No more injuries. I'm making sure my safety is first. All right, you're gonna need those <laughs> fingers, probably. The color scheme that I'm going for this sneaker is my personal color scheme because I like bright and vibrant colors. On one shoe, I'm gonna go ahead and color it in with blue and red and then also highlight it with some glitter. After painting the crown, I knew that I wanted to include something about like a black woman. Now, if any of them make anything even close to similar as what they did before, it better be immaculate. I'm talking about clean, <laughs> precise, it better be the best shoe they've ever done. I heard you. I was gonna put the silhouette of a black woman, but then I thought about it, why not step it up? I'm good with faces, I could add a little bit of face in there and just bring it to life. Now that the glitter and everything is on there, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add the planes and the trails. I got the Cape Cod on there, I got the islands on there, I got the airplanes on there, it's pretty legit. She's taking a sweater? Hot in here. Oh. I think the pressure is kicking in. The other girls are painting. I do feel like a little out of place because I'm doing something completely different. I might see it as artwork. I don't know what the judges are looking for, but I really gotta dominate this and show them this artwork is worth holding up against these painters. Ladies, we are halfway done. We have two and a half hours left. Larry just called out the two and a half hour mark and Mariah still hasn't even started that second shoe. It's a half mark, and I haven't even gotten to my second shoe. I'm a little nervous. I need to make it to the end, so when I get on the second shoe, I need to ante up. This is the finale. 10K is on the line. On the inside, because the outsides are so colorful, I was like, I think I want to go with a more concrete black and white look with some powerful words. So I went with power and strength. It's like a good contrast on the shoe. We got two hours. Everything is going good right now. I feel really confident in where I am with the sneaker. And then the next thing I know is my needle is stuck in the tip of the shoe. Mariah, girl. What's up? I came to check in. You doing OK? I saw you looking a little stressed over there. Already going crazy. And then Chloe comes over and she wants to talk to me. Girl, I don't have time. Well, do you have another needle if you can't get it 
out or what um, are we gonna do? I gotta get it out because I <laughs> we can't have a needle in the shoe. Have a needle on the shoe. <laughs> you gotta go. No, you probably want me to stop talking to you, but <laughs> I'm gonna keep stressing you out over here, okay? Chloe, you're my girl. I messed with you heavy, but don't talk to me right now. I ain't got time for it. So Larry comes over and he has a challenge. Pause the clocks. I already know it's gonna be crazy. They trying to get me off my game. Y'all know my vibes. Y'all know I'm up to no good. Today's obstacle. <laughs> and it's already nerve wracking because we have the cameras on. It's $10,000 at stake. For the next 30 minutes, you're gonna be customizing your sneaker with one hand. Don't they know that I need both hands to sew? How am I supposed to do this? Hey, Chloe, help me out real quick, please. Okay, fashion. Did you think about me? Do you want me to lose? I like what I see. Hey, yo, start that clock. Give me 30 minutes on it. Immediately, I'm frustrated. Like, you can see it on my face. I can't. You helped her with that? I know, I did it. I feel bad, I know I know they're mad, I would be mad. My hand's taped to my side, but I honestly don't really care, because at the moment I'm working on airbrushing and all I need is one hand anyway. Caddy is so focused right now. I was trying not to think about it. Mariah, you're really making it work. How you doing it? So this challenge is not gonna break me. I'm gonna take this shoe and I'm gonna hold it in my waist. My hand is down here, but my shoe is also gonna be down here and I'm gonna put the work in. I don't panic under things like that. I just like, okay. So there's not much time left, but as I'm looking at the shoe, I decided to change the location of the airplane, adding more of the red trail. So you okay? You good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Not stressing you? A little bit. A little bit, why? I just need more for my hand. Three, two, one. Stop the clock. Your obstacle is over. Y'all did that. Let's cut them loose. I need to get this shoe finished. I have so much shoe to cover right now. Mariah, man, she's working those scissors fast. It's like Edward Scissor hands. Those are pliers. Okay. You knew what I was trying to say, though. After I worked on power and strength, there was still some blank area, and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with that. I chose to do little words, but I chose, let's describe the woman. Y'all only got one hour. It's crunch time. I see these girls working. I gotta keep it moving. I can't slow down now. I gotta actually speed it up. Down to half an hour, let's go! So time is winding down. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. Although I didn't have the concept, it's working out. So I'm touching up the shoes. Caddy's over here throwing these laces in, and I spied something in particular uh -oh. that she forgot last time. I think she put those lace tips on there. I decided to put the 1908 on the lace tips just to show a little bit more Converse history. 15 minutes left for the Jigga one k Five hours is not a lot of time in this competition. I finally got this chain net done. I got a little bit of time, so I'm gonna add a little more chain to the bottom of each shoe to kind of work with my story a little bit more. We got five minutes left, come on, come on. $10,000 would mean a lot to me because it's all about my daughter, my family. I just wanna be successful for her. It's the final minute, who wants it? We all can relate to this struggle. We all been through some kind of struggle. That's what this net represents. I feel really, really, really good about the finished product and I'm hoping to win. Five, four, three, okay. two, yes, yes, yes. one. Ah, stop the clock! Ah. Time is up, and I'm looking at my sneakers like, yes, these are perfect. Feels good. Feels good. Finish yeah. it up. Finish it up. Feeling confident. Feeling confident. I know that I did something that looks good, and it's very pristine and precise. I definitely feel like I'm about to win. I feel like my story, everything that this shoe represents is so me, and they have to take it home. I feel like this is the winner's shoe. 10K on the line? Yeah. Which I gotta say as a group, though. Man, we did it. We did it. Yeah, we, we did. did it. Oh my God. <laughs>
but on out, but on now, now, now. All right. Lil Pump comes out. I can't even expect nothing but all the diamonds and, and the gold teeth like he always is. Okay. So Lil Pump style, I, I feel like it's a, it's kind of like mine. It's clearly like bold, fun stuff. Yes, such is. And I know when he look at my sneakers, he's gonna see the style. He's gonna wanna rock these, I already know. In the music industry, like a lot of women are going crazy right now. So like I feel like in the shoe industry, it's, it's gonna be the same. Like they'll keep taking over. Yeah, it's the takeover, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Customizers, before we get to judging, I gotta remind you what you're playing for. 10K? Larry shows us the money, he shows us the trophy. And that pro leather that will last in any weather. My heart is going. Up and down, up and down, up and down. I think all three of us put on for the challenge. No matter who wins, we definitely did our thing. Customizers, it's time to present your shoe. We'll start with Caddy Customs. Hey, my name is Caddy Customs, and these are the shoes for the finale. I chose to draw a map on here, including the state and the city. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to show a little tribute to where the shoes came from and how they started. And just highlighted a few things with the glitter. And I also added the year where it was established, and it was uh, established in 1908 on the tips. How the hell did you make that shoe? Man, all freehand drawn. So I was pretty proud to show him, and like, you know, yeah, I, I did it freehand, you know. You did it with your hand? With my hand. One hand at that. Paint. <laughs> These are my shoes. I kind of based them off of us because we're the last three standing and we're women. And also, I just chose words like beautiful, confident, fearless, respect that represent a woman. And I love like graffiti style stuff. I love street art. I love combining colors. In the inside, I put strength and power in more of a concrete black and white. You struggled with your beginning idea and had to shift it around. It took you a while to get going. Are you proud of what you put out right now? Yes, I'm happy I came up with the theme. Like you guys, I told you guys earlier, I do not like to work under just do what you want because I like to have a specific theme. I'm happy with the overall result for sure. What's up judges? Um, I introduced my Converse 70s all net edition. I'm not an athlete, but like I've tried to have athletic mentality with just going in all the time. I chose two different medals just to kind of present like the struggle and also success, adding a little bit of both materials onto both shoes just to show you can't have one without the other. But I didn't even know it was a basketball net until you said it, that's crazy. I mean, that was my inspiration. I feel like you don't have to know that it's a basketball net. If it was on the shelf, mad people would gravitate to it just because it's different. I feel like the judges really resonated with my shoe and feel like we can all relate, so I feel good. Customizers, please exit the room. The judges gotta get their judge on. Okay, <laughs> ladies, now let's get in formation. We're gonna start with Caddy Customs, all right? Bam. Gas. <laughs> I like color like like plain straight up. It's, it's, it's good concept, it's good blending, you know, for somebody to use just a paintbrush. Like she didn't use no airbrush or nothing like that. Just a paintbrush and the fact that she didn't have one hand for a while, that kind of impedes what you do. So the fact that it's cleaner than last time, that's actually kind of how good she is. I think about her first shoe and just how far she's come within this short amount of time and I'm super impressed. Judges, so the next shoe we got from Bree. Yeah, that's me. Oh yeah, this one's it. See, I don't know about y'all, but I look for the art. I do detail myself, so mm -hmm. she's the only one in here that actually went in and went for some detail with the paintbrush and that portrait over there. No, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the crazy part. Like, you can see real detail in her face. She did the inside panels the same, the strength and the power, and then the outside panels kind of similar as well with the queen and the uh, strong black woman. I'm I like that she went in and blacked that back heel strap out here, you know, just to break up the shoe a little bit and give you that separation, you know, from the panels and the colors and everything like that. I think the unique thing is we said that it is more of a women's shoe, but I think it doesn't matter what you are. Like, at the end of the day, you know this is fire. So, boy, girl, whatever you identify with. Yeah, I'll wear it. You what? Yeah, it's fire. Next shoe we got, Mariah. You got stuff going everywhere. Is that something we need to consider? That every time you take a step, it might end up flying all over the shoe? I like this. It like spider web. <laughs> the story game for me, it just hit, because I just think about growing up, just how important it is to have a net on a hoop. The first time you were out there hooping was on a chain net, so I just think the symbolism just goes crazy to me. Technical precision-wise, 
is a lot cleaner than her first shoe. So she got everything lined up exactly around the top the way it was supposed to be. And through the laces is actually kind of hard too. So I like that she did that. And uh, originality, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. To be honest, like whoever wins, I feel like we all win because this is big for our culture. This is big for the girls who are coming into our culture. So no matter what, we're inspiring girls. And that's a win-win. Judges, y'all made a decision? I think so. Yeah, yeah Sirskis. Say less. <laughs> Customizers, please enter the room. So Larry's about to announce the winner. I really hope that this shoe really represents me and they can see that and how it relates to everyone in the world. What a finale. Y'all fought through so much. $10,000 would mean a lot to me because it's all about my daughter, my family. I just want to be successful for her. The time constraints, the obstacles I threw at y'all. I just hope they choose me. I hope they see, you know, the hard work that I put into the shoes. I'm the OG and I deserve this. You took a fire shoe and elevated it with your own style. I wish I could give $10,000 to all three of y'all, but I can't. The winner of Paint Wars is... In my head, I'm just all like, Lord, please let me win this competition. I know I got it. I did everything they asked me to do. I'm feeling real anxious. I don't know who's going to take this. I feel like we all have the potential to win. Bree! <laughs> they say my name and I am like blown away, surprised, like standing next to, like I said, I have a whole, like one of my idols standing next to me. And to have won this whole competition and it's the first one overtime ever put on means everything. Hey. 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 It's love. It's love. I don't know. It's just like crazy how all of this is happening. Yeah. This competition definitely made me feel like I'm right where I need to be. I, I definitely belong here, and they all know it. They all see. So yeah, I'm excited to keep going. I'm not gonna stop. You'll see me more. Yeah. What's up? How you feeling? What up with you? We're crying. I'm in awe. Honestly. Well, I didn't win the whole competition, but at the end of the day, it was three women finalists. We did our best, we did our thing, and trust me, this is not the last you'll hear from Caddy Customs. My message to anyone is stay true to what you love to do. Don't let nobody steer you in a direction that you don't love. So just do you, grind hard, and do what you love. Hey, yo, that's a wrap on Paint Wars. Congrats, Bree. Enjoy that 10K and take care of that trophy. The boy Larry got to go. I know you're trying to get fitted like your boy, so click the link below ASAP. Get right like me and check out the rest of these videos right here and subscribe. Stop playing with me. Subscribe. Click that button already, man. Sheesh.